and welcome to the April unboxing for the Wild Fashion subscription with our Ello and Wild and Nima and her friends Fashion Box of the Month. This is so exciting. We are very, very, very thrilled to be here as always. And let's just dive right into it and talk about our outfit of the month, which is coming in hot right now. And it is called berry picking. We're going to put some of our beautiful pictures on the screen that Christopher took and our wonderful D in Brazil edited for us. And let's read all about it. This month, immerse yourself in the charm of yesteryear with our Berry Picking Ensemble, exclusively curated for our Ello and Wild subscription. This vintage-inspired outfit promises a delightful surprise, featuring chic polka dots that come in two stunning variations, the classic elegance of black and white polka dots or the vibrant sheer of red with white polka dots. Each choice is designed to encapsulate the whimsical joy of a sun-drenched day spent amidst nature's bounty. Accompanying this fetching attire is a sun hat, elegantly tailored with a ribbon on, one on the inside for a comfortable fit and adorned with an additional silky ribbon on the side. This thoughtful detail allows for a playful mix of mix and match coloring combinations, ensuring your Elowin can express her style uniquely at every outing. But the experience doesn't end with the attire. Each box arrives complete with a special basket, perfect for those imaginative berry picking adventures. And to sweeten the deal, we've included an array of themed treats featuring a delightful strawberry-shaped cookie that's sure to bring a smile. Prepare to be enchanted by the berry picking outfit, a celebration of vintage charm and summertime pleasures. It's more than just an outfit. It's an invitation to create joyful memories with Ello and Wild. We hope you love it. This month is such a pretty outfit. When Christopher put it on our doll months and months ago, we were thinking of what, a, what is Elowen going to do? What, what, you know, what's the, what's the story? What's the vibe? And when Christopher put this adorable hat on Elowen, I said, I love it. The look is amazing, but what is she doing? And he said, you know, she's just out berry picking. And I was like, that's it. That's the vibe. She's berry picking. How cute is that? So what we thought would be so cute is Elowen uh, comes upon a, a big field of berries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, all the berries. And there's so many berries and she wants to pick them all, but she doesn't have anything to put it in. She could, I guess she could put it in her dress, but she wouldn't do that. So we thought, well, she could take off her hat and make that her little basket and put her berries in it. And then we thought, well, she needs a basket. So we found a basket for her berries and I found these beautiful oversized strawberries that are so much fun for little props. And you're going to receive several of these strawberries inside your box with the dress, with the hat that is so wonderful, with the basket, with the strawberries and some other wonderful things. So let's dive in and look at the rest of the box. Action. Well, here it is. And when you receive your boxes, I, I also got special tissue paper that is has strawberries on it that is super cute. And it's like strawberry colored. I have several variations. So you're going to be surprised with that. But here's your box. Now we're going to just dive right in real quick with the wonderful things that are in the box, which is the Wild Style newsletter, which is always so much fun. This is in the Elowin Boutique right now, and you can download it. Uh, Christopher took the pictures. I wrote the newsletter, and our wonderful D in Brazil did the graphics and the layout. It looks so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Every month is, is my new favorite newsletter, and this one does not disappoint. So in the top of the newsletter, we talk about the berry picking outfit, and then we have a spotlight on style, the timeless charm of polka dot in fashion. So we we go into the inception of polka dots in fashion and it goes all the way through the 1910s, 20s, 30s, 50s, and then it goes all the way into modern interpretations of polka dots in fashion. So one of the things that I love about our Elowin subscription and the adventures that we go on with her is that we have a lot of fashion adventures and it has been so much fun learning. If you appreciate this part of the newsletter, let me know because this it's one of my favorite parts to learn about fashion. I have learned so much and appreciate fashion so much more now with, with learning about it and really diving into it. So it's a lot of fun. And then underneath that, I put something so funny. It is fluffy fruit pie 
from the 1950s. And this is a, at the time, it was a very popular recipe that was on the side of carnation evaporated milk. And let me know if you've tried this. It, it, I bet it tastes pretty good, but it's vintage fluffy fruit pie from 1957. This pie is a nostalgic journey back to the 50s featuring a luscious combination of maraschino cherries, crushed pineapple, and lemon gelatin for a fluffy light filling. Encased in a crisp, flaky pie crust, it's a delight delightful retro recipe that embodies the simplicity and joys of 1950s home baking. So if you want to get really into the vibe for this month, if you just really want to bring it home, make this pie and let us know what it tastes like. And then at the end of the newsletter, we have our wild community where you, you took this to the max. The weekend market photos and the photo challenge was unbelievable this month. It was inspiring. It, it had my jaw on the floor with how well so many of you put together your interpretations of a weekend at the market, all different types of markets. It was very hard to whittle this down to just a couple of highlights. And we we are so proud of you. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful community involvement with Weekend Market last month. It was absolutely amazing. So that is your newsletter. It is volume eight. Can you believe it? Next month is volume nine. And that concludes, that concludes season one of the Yellow Wind subscription. That is crazy to me. It feels like we just launched it yesterday and that concludes season one. We are so excited for season two. We have been working really hard on it and we are expanding for season two. So if you are not, if you, believe me, you have not been forsaken. If you are on our waiting list, you wanna get in the Yellow Wind subscription, we are expanding for season two. So let's get into the paper dolls and the craft of the month. So you are going to receive in your box a surprise color. I cannot choose which, which outfit I like more. I love the black and white for its classic, uh, its classic style, its classic vibe. Black and white is one of my favorite color combinations. It never goes out of style. And then the, the red and uh, white is just so springy and pretty and beautiful. So we have some of each. And then at the end of the month, we are going to release multiples of these dresses. So if you receive the white and you want the red, you can purchase one or the other way around. So it is going to be a surprise, but when once you see these dolls with Christopher and you really look at the details and the little, the cute little things we have added, you're not going to be able to choose which color. So that's why sometimes the surprise boxes are so much fun because it's hard to choose. So we just choose for you and we don't choose for you. It's totally random. They just go out. So um, Dee in Brazil did a wonderful job with our paper doll. We're going to put it on the screen right now. We have two different versions of Elowin, and she is wearing her Marlowe flip wig in both versions. So very, very, very cute. I love that he put the bow and the sunglasses and the, the, the rabbit that's obviously having a very good time at his Easter party. And all the little touches. Dee, you did a wonderful job. Oh, and the gloves. Oh, my gosh. Oh, chef's kiss. They're so beautiful. I love the berry picking uh, paper doll. You did such a wonderful job. And then we have our craft of the month for berry picking, which is very, very, very cute. You can cut out this basket and make an additional basket. And there is a little cloth for your basket and different fruits. It is just also very sweet. So Dee, you did a wonderful job. And if you want to print these out and like, like always, put them out at doll club, give them to your friends, um, you know, have a berry picking themed party with your doll club or your what, whatever, your, your sleepover with friends, you know, feel free to do that. We, we love sharing the love. So this is how your box will arrive. You will receive your color variation of the dress. You will receive this beautiful berry picking hat. It's one of my favorite hats that we have ever released with Virtual Doll Convention and was made special for Elowin's big noggin right there. And it is so pretty and so cute on. It just fits her beautifully, especially with the new wigs. And then each hat comes with this ribbon, which is, it's a stock ribbon that, that, that would typically come on a hat like this. But then you are going to receive an elevated scarf, which you can thread through the hat or use in different ways, which Christopher will show you. And then we have a coaster. It says, lost in a field of berries and dreams. So every box will receive this beautiful, vibrant coaster. Artwork by Dee, of course. 
And then I was so thrilled to find these beautiful baskets. Every box will have a basket for the berry picking, which Ellen can hold. And then our wonderful bakery that has been making all of our custom treats for the grace boxes for the most part, but we're, I, I had to splurge and get cookies for the Elowin box. We have strawberry shaped sugar cookies that are delicious. Yes, we have already sampled them. And these came in a shipment with the amazing cookies that are coming up for the Grace subscription, which I am just like beyond excited about. So your boxes are gonna be wonderful. We hope you are excited. We have some really good add-ons this month, really good. Really good. So we're gonna bring in our fashion director here at Virtual Doll Convention who styled these dolls so perfectly and so beautifully. Christopher, you did an amazing job. The scene, the set, the dolls, the ironing of the dresses to make them look so beautiful. I just can't say enough. So we're gonna bring in Christopher and chat some fashion. Hi, Christopher. Hello. How do you feel about berry picking? I'm very excited. There's a part of this that's a little bit nostalgic for me. Um, I spent a lot of my childhood with my family in the Pacific Northwest. And one of my very favorite things about going to see family and, and be in that sort of region of the country is the sort of natural occurrence of berries just like everywhere. And we would sort of pull off on the side of, you know, remote roads and just along hillsides just pick blackberries and marion berries and raspberries and blueberries and, and my grandparents had uh, a little plot of land um, that had some some berries when i was a kid and i was obsessed with just like eating fresh berries right off of the vine um it's it's one of my like fondest fondest memories of childhood and um this is so fun to sort of see this culmination of ideas happen and come to life. Um, I, I'm excited about it in sort of a personal way, but um, also it's so cute. <laughs> so I hope that you can feel fun and bright and light and festive um, and summery because like God knows I'm over the cold. Um, and this is a great way to sort of spring into spring. I love it. So let's talk about the set here and the variations <laughs> yeah. of the dresses. It's, um, it's a, a wonderland of fruit. Um, these are actually very convincing little fake strawberries. They're plastic. They you know don't have any seeds or anything. But from a distance, I think they're, they're very believable little fake berries. Um, so you're going to get a good handful of those in your box. Um, this is Elowen showing off the white and black variation. Really cute. I love the way that the hat really brings this together. Um, the the hats have two different color of straw, so um, depending on what box you get, every single component is different, which I think is very exciting. Um, the straw of this one is a little bit of a deeper natural hay color versus something a little bit more like Wonder Bread in the other hat. It's a little bit more like a bleached flower sort of color. Uh, very cute, and they'll come with coordinating ribbons that sort of work with whatever your um, color combination in the dress is, um, as well as the satin scarf you can get uh, maybe through the headband, or rather through the, the hat. There are holes in the hat, you can just sort of pin that through, um, or it works as a sort of neckerchief or a headscarf. We've got several depictions of sort of how to play with that, um, with color combinations there. And we actually, in the middle of working through the subscription had um, various points where we decided we needed more of X or more of Y and like how to get that in time and if we even could and this outfit was one of them. Uh, we thought about maybe releasing this a lot sooner and then realized that we needed extra components we didn't have enough of. Um, one of those being the fabrics that these dresses are made out of. So you actually have an extra sort of fun um, uh, collectability in the fabrics. There are variations of um, pattern size and color. So um, if you, at the end of this, if we have any extra to sell off um, after all of the orders have been shipped out, you may purchase a like fun special variation of the same color or a different one that you didn't get in your original order. Uh, I hope that isn't too confusing, but what I mean to say is there are um, many ways to make this very collectible and sort of fun and exciting, um, including all of the sort of face value obvious ways that we have, you know, color arrangements in the boxes. Um, there are also variations, so I think that's very exciting. Um, as a doll collector myself, one of the most exciting parts of doll collecting is sort of like unusual variations or expected unexpected rarities. So brace for some of that. I think that's very fun. Um, I, I love that this is sort of a simple, timeless, classic um, 
gorgeous vintage ensemble and um, it fits so so nicely it's wonderfully tailored for LON you've got a zipper in the back um, it's just a really nice sort of all-around well-made garment um, some wonderful gathering on the hips to give you a really nice sort of balloon effect the silhouette is nice and full um, these have all been pressed but I don't have anything underneath this dress it's just the the garment itself um, one of the things that we're offering for this box are an assortment of crinolines everyone's favorite um, you can style this with the classic white that we have released before but there's also now a red variation which is so cute um, um, I love this on the black and white ensemble, especially on Nima. It feels so striking and uh, visually got some great contrast. It's very playful. It's just like a storybook. Um, I, I think the general attitude of this box is more um, <laughs> maybe jubilant or, or um, bouncy than Elowen's, you know, written uh, demeanor tends to be. So that's a sort of a fun change of pace, too. Um, this feels very buoyant. It feels very... Um, excited and, and just sort of like sweet and and um, happy in some way so maybe she's taking a break from some ennui to enjoy some fresh fruit this month um, and I think this is a, a really great way to sort of showcase that um, there is also a black crinoline that we have uh, on Elowen here this is showing off the uh, one of the newest pieces from our mix and match head to toe sale um, paired with some really sort of classic uh, strawberry milkshake sort of toner shoes and uh, I love the black crinoline with it this makes it a little bit more vogue to me with that sort of big floating hat tipping down over the eyes um, picking berries but you know make it fashion <laughs> sort of sort of that uh, vibe for me um, this is a fabulous outfit to showcase the new wigs that everyone has been losing their minds over understandably um, just about any silhouette any variation for hair really shows this off nicely. Um, I'm a really big fan of all of them, but I think that the GG pigtails is such a strong contender for um, the general attitude of this outfit. Um, it's just very pretty. I, I, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but I really enjoy this outfit and it's sort of a whimsical, sweet-natured simplicity. Um, the flip is great. The Sabrina is great. I especially like the Sabrina um, under a hat. I think it's such a nice way to play with that. This is showing that black satin headscarf pulled through the hat. Um, so I've just sort of taken that over the sides where the ribbon would be normally, um, just as another option. The, the ribbon it comes with is wonderful, but if you want something that I think is more versatile, this is very obviously a headscarf in a way that a <laughs> ribbon is not so um, deliberate or intentional. Um, and so you can sort of replace that or use them in tandem or use them, you know, separately, whatever. Um, this is sort of a goofy way <laughs> to show off that headscarf, um, but um, there are, are lots of ways to play with it and I think uh, Nima there is uh, another again back to the, one of my favorites is just a good way to show that off oh my gosh okay so I don't want to say that I'm heartbroken but I'm a, I'm just like, a little bit for sad this, for this it's sad <laughs> it's I had an incredible pair of shoes an incredible pair of shoes that are coming um, there they were supposed to be featured for this release um, I won't give away too much but our general collection is berry themed it's sort of cherry themed it's very fruit uh, forward and um, there will be a fabulous pair of shoes that are coming. We're expecting a timeline of several weeks to a month, so at time of filming you may see this a month-ish, hopefully later than when um, this comes out, that we have a pair of shoes to offer for you um, as sort of a, a PS uh, to the end of this love letter of, you know, fruit love. Um, but um, stay tuned for those because they, they really would be a fabulous companion for this. Um, they will be just you know a little bit later fashionably late yeah. fashionably late I yeah love that. oh i love this uh the red crinoline with the red dress yeah here. it's a it's a very fun sort of um you know monochromatic simple uh, again like if you want to to take a sort of obvious route with this it's so flattering but also each of these colors i think um, dance together so well that you can really mix and match them any way that you see fit and there are a lot of shoes that we have just put out. Oh my gosh. I mean, I love the, the yellow that actually has no other anchor point. That is like just a staple. Um, 
sort of accent color on its own to really bring something new and fun and sort of spicy to the outfit. Um, I just love that. I think yellow with that or the, the olive green would be another great option from the head to toe sale. Um, lots of opportunities, of course, for land and sea shoes. Um, and then we actually have a pair of the Valentine's Day shoes from Elowen as well. Um, there are many, 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 many ways to wear just about any shoe that you want to. Um, it lends itself, I, I say, you know, versatility a lot, but like really we've got chocolate brown, white, red, pink, yellow, green, like you can wear just about anything with this. And like you'd said, I, I think black and white is timeless and it's one of my favorite, favorite color combinations. Um, I might be biased with things like Barbie, but um, I, I think it's a, this is a hit for me. Well, welcome to our add-on corner. <laughs> this box has lots of add-ons this month, so rejoice everybody that is, but also isn't in the subscription. You have opportunities to play with pieces um, and celebrate and feel festive as well. So we have two different dresses of the same sort of cut. You've got a really, really pretty sort of, again, strawberry milkshake colored skirt attached to a blouse um, as one piece with a really lovely sort of low collar with a, a great lapel. Um, very, very 50s housewife. I love this. Um, it is an uh, Elowen dress. It's fitted for Elowen's body. However, it does fit Grace quite nicely. It's not a perfect fit. It's a little bit snug, but I think it's so beautiful that like, <laughs> I don't, I don't care. Um, it's actually not even difficult to get on. It's just obvious that it's for a more slender torso. Um, but truly, like, I actually think that these flatter Grace maybe even more so than they do Elowen, despite them not being for her. I think it's so, it's such a wonderful way to show off her sort of busty, pinup, voluptuous shape. Um, it's, it's, it's really, it's very lovely. Um, so we have the pink, we also have the white. Um, the white features a cherry print where the pink features a strawberry. Um, and this is actually part of a larger um, menagerie of cherry pieces. So this is a sort of halter top that uh, ties in the back with a beautiful high-waisted, almost sort of nautical short. Very cute, very summery, very picnic appropriate. She's, um, you know, af after cherry and berry picking, she's gonna go enjoy her fruit uh, maybe on the lawn of her mansion with a book and, you know, watch the clouds go by. Um, and I, I love this sort of like nice bright olive shoe um, that I think is actually a really nice complement with the with the pattern in the top. Um, this is on an Elowen with rather fair skin and really pale green eyes and then a really sort of raveny jet brown hair. Um, I think contrast is a really great way to go with these colors and this is just one way to sort of showcase that. Um, and then in addition to this, what will be sold with these two pieces is this pair of pants. Um, again, these are fitted for Elowen, but are a really great piece on Grace. Um, they have a fabulous leather belt. This is a, a faux leather, really soft, great sturdy texture, real buckle clasp there, and then it has a um, snap in the back. Um, this snaps as well, I should say. They're just, they're nice. And again, a great piece for versatility. I've paired all of these with um, different shoes. So you've got white and red and green. Uh, pink is another great one to play with. If, if you're wearing this on Elowen, um, this shoe, actually, let me grab it for you, will be a really great sort of, you know, intuitive companion piece as well. Um, I think this would be a really great shoe to wear with that dress, right? So there's lots of ways to play with mixing and matching, especially with this add-on collection. Um, so get into that, enjoy it. Enjoy the sort of beginning of springtime and early, you know, on the cusp of summer, because I think um, this year it feels overdue. I don't know why. <laughs> I've just been very sort of, um, I've been rushing the sort of seasons um, since Christmas, really. I've just, I'm so excited for each season and I've, I'm, I'm sort of, um, I'm ready for warm, I'm ready for berries, I'm ready for sunshine and sitting in the park with friends and having a picnic and enjoying it. Um, so even if you, you know, maybe get to be a little bit more haute couture about the way you do it, I certainly will be. Um, enjoy your berry picking and um, enjoy your box. I could listen to Christopher chat about fashion all day, and actually that's what we do a lot around here, which is really fun. We are going to be in Cleveland coming up here in about five weeks or so for uh, a UFTC regional where Robert Tonner is the souvenir artist, and we're going to be giving a program on 
fashion and what we love to do here. So we are very excited for a lot of you that are gonna be attending. So uh, get ready to say hi. We have some really great swag and all kinds of fun things that we are making for that event and we're very excited. Oh, the, the, the strawberries just took a little dive here. Uh, like Christopher says, it's all, what do you call it? Toothpicks and shadows or something? Yeah, sure. It, the, smoke floss. and mirrors, yeah. dental floss, you know, putting it all together. But I am so thankful to have Christopher to do the, the wonderful scenes to really bring it to life. We can make the garments, we can put them on a doll, but yeah, those strawberries, I, I am proud of these strawberries. So I, I found them. Um, our boxes are going to be shipping later this week, probably a little bit later than usual because we are waiting on a couple strawberries. And then we have also been very blessed with a lot of uh, sales from the head to toe, which is a lot of little packages that are going out. We're very thankful to you. Thank you so much. But don't worry, everything's going to uh, be shipped and you should be and will be very happy with it. So like I said, we are expanding the Yellow and Wild subscription. We are opening up 150 spots for next season. Robert Tonner, I just shared with him this news and he is so very thrilled. We have a little girl doll that is just arrived in customs in California and should be here next week. OMG, yep. That's happening. We have a lot of fun things that are happening. So buckle up. Make sure to bookmark our uh, calendar on the Virtual Doll Convention website. We put things we put things on there every week. So it's really fun. I want to thank our entire team that brings this to life, all of the people that are involved from our factories to the people that make our boxes to the, the this creates so much industry. It not only gives us a job, uh, thank you so much, but it also creates jobs for people that are around the world. I would like to give a special uh, hello to Dee's mother in Brazil. Hi, Mama Dee, and because uh, she likes to watch these videos. So anyway, this is a fun box, and I just wanted to touch base real quick on when Christopher was talking talking about the different variations, they're, they're subtle. They're not like, it's not, you're gonna not receive something that it's like, oh my gosh, that doesn't match at all. But there are slight, slight, slight variations in the color of red and also the scale of the polka dots on these dresses, which I find very, very, very sweet. We ordered them right in the beginning of the Yellow One subscription and we knew right away, this was not gonna be enough to satisfy all of the wonderful fans of Yellow One and Nima that would like to be a part of this. So we ended up ordering more. But then of course, with a lot of factories, they can't reorder the same fabric. It has to be different. The feel is very similar, but the, the scale and the color variations are very, very slight. And so that is really fun. But at the end of the month, we will list the different uh, overages that we have of the dresses. They are small quantities, but uh, we hope that when you receive your box, you love it. And a pro tip, when you receive your box, your dress is going to be flat, just like this. It's not gonna look like this, but if you want it to look like this, just give it a press with one of those little miniature irons that you can get from Doll's Part, and uh, you can add a crinoline too if you want a little extra fancy, and they will look like this, and it is so worth it. It'll take you an extra 10 minutes when you're dressing your doll, but oh my goodness, it changes the entire garment. It almost doesn't look like the same piece anymore once you do that. It's just like human clothes. Uh, we can't wait to see your looks. We can't wait to see what you do. Um, happy April. Welcome everybody new and all of our wonderful people that have been with us for many years. We love you so very much and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.